Jesus came with his disciples to a country called Gethsemane and said to them, Sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. He took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee and began to be saddened and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, My soul is sad, even unto death. Wait here, watch with me. He then went forth a little ways, and falling prostrate, prayed, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. The Gospel of the Lord. Almighty and eternal God, accept our prayer and thanksgiving for the beloved Son, our Savior and Lord, as we were called to sacred passion, send the Spirit of Christ into our hearts, we thank you, so that whether we pray or work, we might do all in union with Christ. Kings of the earth rise up and the praise inspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I am not of you. After I see you, I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the kings of the earth for your possession. Let us pray. Jesus Christ is condemned to death by crucifixion. Stir up your love in our hearts so that we might ever be faithful to all that you have told us. Fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin. Amen. Now the cross has Jesus for it. Has begun for us to share it, the jeweled cross of victory. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold, your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. So they handed him over to them, and 
to be crucified. They then took Jesus away and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. The Gospel of our Lord. Who would believe what we have heard? To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up like a sapling before him, like a shoot from the parched earth. There was a man who was seen in the earth to make us look at him. No appearance would attract us to him. He was rejected and avoided by men, a man of suffering and customs and authorities. One of those from whom men turned away. Let us pray. Father of heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, still carries his cross and his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Son. 
Then he said to the disciple, Behold, your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the To what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What well, example can I show you for your comfort, virgin of daughter Zion? For great as the sea is your distress, it will be a you. Let us pray. O blessed Lord, at your passion, a sword of sorrow pierced the loving heart of your mother, as Simeon had foretold. Grant that we who look back on your sorrows with compassion might receive the healing fruits of your suffering. Amen. Silence stopped in hesitation, not perceived prostration, called to bear the cross of Christ. Silence Serene helps Jesus carry his cross, the fifth station. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because I have holy cross and that the So when they mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off him, put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced a certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country, to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, the name meaning the place of the skull. Gospel of With a loud voice I cry out to the Lord. With a loud voice I speak to the Lord. My complaint I pour out before him. Before him I lay bare my distress. When my spirit is faint within me, you know my path. In the way along which I walk, and in the trap. I look to the right to see, but there is no one who pays me heed. I have lost all means of escape. There is no one who cares for my life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to see in the sufferings and shortcomings of our lives a share of your cross. Strengthen and console us in the belief that we shall bear all things in union with you and have taken upon yourself even our guilt.
the support we receive from one another. Give us, we beg you, the courage and dedication to, sac dedication to sacrifice and suffer with those who are in need, the least of your people. Lord Jesus Christ, you shared in our weaknesses and accepted our debt. Grant us the favor of rejoicing over our human weaknesses, so that in all we do, your strength, dwelling in us, may be shown to all others. Amen. Amen. May Jesus falls again in weakness, stumbling as we do to lead us through our sorrow and our pain. The night station, Jesus falls for a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the Lord. I lie prostrate in the dust, giving 
speak life according to your word. I declare my ways, and you answer me. Teach me your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts. I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul weeps for sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall, shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Who shall I be afraid? When evildoers come to devour my flesh, my foes, foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. Though an army camp against me, my heart will not be here. The war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you permitted your Son to be weakened, crushed, and profane, so that he might rise from the dead from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our weaknesses and failings as forerunners of your glorious resurrection in union with your Son. Amen. Stripped and cheered by his salvation. Jesus stood in desolation, giving all he had to give. Ted Station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink it. And after they had crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophets. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lots. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy is the man whom God chastises, do not, not reject the punishment of the Almighty. For he wounds, but he binds up, he smites, but his hands to him. His salt has broken my heart, and I am weak. I have looked for comforters, and I found none. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me to him. Lord Jesus Christ, stripped of everything, you stood exposed to the jeers and contempt of the people whom you loved. Clothe us with the genuine love of others, so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. Peace and
Lord and Savior, you have told us that we too must accept crucifixion if we are to accept resurrection with you. Help us to rejoice in the sufferings that come with the fulfillment of our daily duties, seeing the royal road to the cross to resurrection. My people, what have I done to you? Or in what way have I offended you? Answer me. What way have I done? And did not do I led you out of the land of Egypt, and you prepared a cross for me. I led the Red Sea before you, and you opened my side of the legs. I gave you a royal scepter, and you gave me a crown of thorns. My people, what have I done to you? Or in what way have I offended you? I offended you. Yes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Stunned and stricken, Mary, Mother, in your arms was placed our brother, full of grace now. Thirteenth station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have the world. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. So they did not break his legs, but one of them opened the side of the lands, and immediately there came out blood and water. Joseph of Arimathea. Because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one, for fear of the Jews, he sought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and by Pilate gave him permission. The Gospel of our Lord. Well, my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them, and I will bring you back to your land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. O oh, my people, I will put my spirit in you that they may live. You shall know then that I am the Lord. I have promised it, and I will do it, says the Lord. 
Beloved Savior, you return to the Father all that he has given you, so that he might restore all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves in all that we do for you, so that, like you, we might be made perfect in a new resurrection. Jesus, Lord, your gift accepted, in three days you resurrected, you did first what we should do. Fourth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, o Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth that he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn from the rock, and he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and departed. The Gospel of the Lord. I will praise you, O Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the lower world. You preserved me from the one who was going down into the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment. His good will is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes to the let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, on the edge of sadness, when we all when all seem to be lost, you restored to us the Savior whom we thought defeated and conquered. Help us, we beg you, so that to empty ourselves of self-concern that we might see your hand in every favor, in your victory, in every defeat. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the union of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, risen, be our lover, in your food and in our brother, lead us home to Steps and so come to share your glory in heaven.